I started my foster care experience by providing crisis respite care for children who needed urgent short-term placement. Sometimes it seems as if I'm on a roller coaster, but I am not worried because it always seemed to level out. Six years ago, a worker dropped off a tiny little boy carrying a blanket. His name was Aaron. Aaron looked up at me and said, Grandmama, I'm hungry. I looked into his eyes and we had an instant bond. I felt heartbroken a year later when Aaron was about to be adopted. I understood that his placement was temporary and that I was the first choice for adopting him, but I was a little unsure due to my age. I thought a younger couple would be better fit. It was one of the hardest decisions I had to make. I had the same feeling towards him as I did my biological children. I never understood a mother's pain when she had to be separated from her child. But after experiencing Aaron leaving, I thought my heart was about to shatter into pieces. I convinced myself that it was best for Aaron. I told his caseworker that my door was always open and that I would always be Aaron's grandmother. After only two months, the case manager contacted me and asked if I could take Aaron back because the adopted mother could not bond with him. Without hesitation, I said yes. It was like giving birth to a new child. Aaron was back in my home, and it was like he had never left. His absence made me realize how much Aaron was a part of my family. Aaron was three when he walked into my life, and now he is nine and thriving. He is doing well in school and has a close bond with family and friends. We are now in the process of finalizing the adoption. The support that Creative Community Services has provided for me during the process has been enormous and joyful. Everyone on Aaron's team demonstrate the true meaning of it takes a village to raise a child.